Hi, it's Jamie Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage. For today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to use Jamie Ray Vintage appliques to take your furniture from boring to fabulous. We're going to be using an old buffet that we added some legs to and we're going to glue on these appliques. We'll include at the end of the video pictures of how the legs were transformed. Zeb took sticks of wood and turned them and added them and made this into a wonderful piece. So to purchase these appliques be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com and look under the menu under appliques. We have a huge selection. They run from a dollar upwards to ten and twelve dollars so they're kind of all over the place. When you have your applique you're going to put E6000 glue that you can purchase at your local craft or hardware store liberally on it and then you're going to put it where you'd like it to stay. This is going in the middle. Zeb is that good? Yeah, it looks even. Okay, I can't tell from this end. And then you're going to clamp it on. And then you just let that dry for an hour and a half, up to two hours, and then it's ready to paint and glaze and whatever else you have. On this piece, I'm also going to be using these two wreaths. We're going to glue them on the door. And then we have one more matching piece that will go down on the bottom detail. We'll show you what it looks like once we get them all glued up. All right, so we've removed all the dust and debris, and I'm going to go ahead and paint it with high bond primer. Once I do that, I'll see if there's any bleed through, shellac, any areas that bleed through, and then I'll do two coats of chalk paint. Alright, so we've got primer on here. I wound up doing two coats of primer, a little bit of shellac to control bleed through. Um, if you don't know what bleed through is, look up my pro tip video on it. Sometimes when you paint furniture white, the natural tannins in the wood or stains will come through your paint. So you just seal them with shellac and then paint over. Then I did two coats of our Fairy Chalk Mother Snowflake color. If you'd like to buy that, stop by jamierayvintage.com. And I'm ready to distress this. Now I'm going to distress the whole piece with my rotary sander, except for the appliques. Those I'm going to do by hand because I don't want to go down too far and get through the stain and down into the resin part. So I'm going to sand the whole thing with a rotary and then we'll hand sand those appliques. Okay, so I've got my 400 grit and I'm just going to lightly go over the edges and pull back the paint to where some of the dark stain shows through. It doesn't give a lot of detail, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this all and then we'll put a glaze on there and that'll really pop. Alright, so I'm going to get my mask on and we're going to seal this and then we're ready to glaze it. I'm sealing with polyacrylic in my spray gun. If you don't have a spray gun, you could also brush this on. Okay, so we're using our Fairy Chalk Mother Glaze. And on hand, I have a magic eraser in case it gets too crazy and a wet paper towel. I just like to use a little artist brush and just get it in all the details. Now you're probably wondering, why did she seal it first? That's because chalk paint is very porous. So if you don't seal it first, then you're going to have glaze that will not come off. And the whole idea is you just want it in the details. All right, so I've got it down in all the cracks. I'm gonna do the whole uh, piece, all the appliques like this and then we'll be done. Okay, we're all done and glazed. I'm just going to get the hardware on and this will be ready to go. Our buffet is all finished. It turned out beautiful. From a broken down chest 
to a buffet meant to last a lifetime. Be sure to stick around. Zep's going to include plenty of photos of what it looked like when we started, the process of fixing the legs, and lots of close-ups of these beautiful appliques. Be sure to go to Jamie Ray Vintage for the paint used today, as well as appliques for your next DIY project. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Mm -hmm.